He already sent me. He says, I cannot believe what I was. Oh, hi there, everybody. Oh, we didn't see you there. It's Ask GameSpot, live from Cologne, Germany, where we're here covering Gamescom. But the information train stops for no man. We are going to tell you all about Grand Theft Auto Online. Our first question today comes from Bader Al Sadeki. Will GTA Online be inside GTA 5 but not available at launch? Or do we have to wait to download GTA Online from the PSN store or XBLN? All right, so there's a lot of confusion around this question at the moment, so let's go ahead and tackle this right now. Grand Theft Auto Online is not a standalone retail product that you can buy just by itself. It's not something they have to pay extra money for. You don't log on to PlayStation Network and buy it from there. Uh, essentially, if you own Grand Theft Auto V, two weeks after that game comes out on October 1st, you get a free patch that enables Grand Theft Auto Online in the game. You're not spending any more money, you just jump into Grand Theft Auto Online by selecting your online avatar from the same character wheel that you use to jump between the three main protagonists in Grand Theft Auto V. I love free patches. Free patches. Alright, our second question comes from David Betancourt. Sean? Yes. How deep is the character customization? The character customization in Grand Theft Auto Online, it's, it's pretty similar to the character customization system in GTA V, the story mode, in so much as you can, you know, you can put tattoos on yourself, you can go to clothing stores, buy clothing, put on masks and whatnot. The difference here is that you can actually change the look of your character's face as well. So it's not predefined characters like in GTA V, you can kind of morph your face around a little bit like this, a little bit like that, you can go for it. You want these if you want. <laughs> you want these. It's up to you. It's the beauty of video games. <laughs> All right, Philip Mores Vieira asks, what do we lose when we die? Is it like a single player campaign that you just pay a bill to the hospital? Uh, so one of the cool things about Grand Theft Auto Online is that there's two ways of holding up to money. You can have cash on your character's person at a given time, or uh, you can go to the bank and deposit that money. The money that's stored in your account, that's yours. You're fine when you die. But the cash that you have on your person when you die, another character can just, another player can come up to you and snatch that away, and that's his money. All right. Next, we've got Chris Calland asking, are Rockstar taking strong measures to stop hackers since this has ruined GTA 4 multiplayer? Um, so I'm not sure about hackers specifically, but I did talk to uh, Rockstar North uh, President Leslie Benzies, and he did address the issue of just bad sports in general, um, whether it's people who are griefing you or people who are maybe a little bit more malicious than that. He did talk about the fact that they've in implemented a player reporting system. So if somebody's being a jerk, you report them, and Rockstar North is going to go after them. So I'll be reporting you about a week after release. Basically, yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. Next, we've got David Cook, who wants to know, I want to know something simple that's never been done. Will the radio stations for two people playing together online play the same songs or speech at the same time for both players? And can only the driver switch the station for everyone in the car? That is, I'm really glad that somebody asked that question because I asked something very similar when I made the studio visit, um, which was about the radio stations. Yes, if two people are in the same car, they're going to be hearing the same music, they're going to be hearing the same speech from the other characters. I don't know specifically if the passenger can change the radio station or if it's just the driver. I would imagine that you should be able to do that yeah. because that would be kind of a weird limitation. <laughs> like, sorry, you're in the passenger seat. You can't reach over slightly <laughs> and change the station. Uh, but you guys will be able to hear the same music. And GTA Online, just like the story mode, is going to have its own sort of original ambient soundtrack when you're out in the world, so there's that as well. Next, David Brown needs to know, can you play poker with other people online and things like that, or are the activities all about shooting and driving cars? I don't know about poker specifically, but there are all sorts of those little mini games out there like golfing and stuff like that that you can do, the sort of like non-violent activities that exist out in the world. It's not just shooting people or getting into car races, there's, you know, Downhill, mountain biking races, golf, like I said. Tennis, I think. Too, yeah, right? tennis is yeah. in there as well. So you can do that sort of like ambient stuff. All right, and down to our last question. All right. This one comes from Naruto Fan, as usual. I read somewhere that this game has insider trading. I've been thinking about getting to insider trading myself. Do you guys have any hot tips for my portfolio? I've got money in coal, syrups, he specifies maple, sesame, high fructose corn, and halibut? Thanks, love the show. Thank you, Naruto fan. Uh, John? Uh, uh, 
no tips. Risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. Well, folks, that's all the questions we have about GTA 5 Online today. Yeah, but if you want to submit your questions to future shows, make sure you follow GameSpot on Twitter and Facebook, where we put out frequent calls for upcoming episodes. So until then, see you later.